All right, sitting inside of the 2014 Jeep Wrangler. And when I start my Jeep, we end up with the dreaded check engine light. Jeep's got 38,000 kilometers on it and we've got a check engine light on. So most of you might think that this automatically means a trip to the garage. Well, or you know, so they can throw their computer on it, uh, the OBD2 scanner to see what's going on. But on this Jeep, we have a neat little function where you could actually read the code yourself without any fancy machines, just the internet. So you can Google your code after, see what's up. So the way to do this is you basically flip your key from the off position to the on position. And that's the on position, not start. So don't start the Jeep while you're doing this. But you're going to go from the off to the on position three times. So on, off, on, off, on. And it should throw your code down by right on the uh, dashboard. So let's give it a try. And code P0520. And when it's all done, it says done. So after you know your trouble code, just punch the trouble code plus your vehicle into Google, uh, which is all I did, and then it'll tell you exactly what it is. Turns out in this case, the P0520 is an engine oil pressure sensor issue on the Jeep. And just a quick search Jeep forms. This is a common problem with the Jeep Wrangler. In fact, there seems to be a lot of stories of how it's on back order. Uh, unfortunately, the fact that it is related to engine oil pressure, probably not something you want to drive around with with your light on. So needless to say, since I have a fancy warranty on this Jeep, we'll be calling the dealer tomorrow. Today is Sunday while I'm making this video uh, in order to get this Jeep in whenever we can. But just wanted to do this video quickly to show you how easy it is to check out your own um, your own check engine light trouble codes. And if you don't have a warranty, maybe it's one less thing you have to pay for before going to the garage. You can walk in and you know exactly what's wrong. And you're not paying a stupid amount of money to put a quote unquote computer onto your car. So anyways, if this video helps you, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And make more Jeep related videos in the future.